Hey, oh, Ben here. Welcome back. Oh, wow. We're gonna get like a. We're gonna get an eclipse. We're gonna get an eclipse right off the start. I like that. Um, splitting this up into two episodes simply because who really wants to. Yeah. But see, I told you this thing could easily get us back. Um, get there and back. Um, I mean, it was designed to actually ditch these on the surface of the moon, so... <laughs> it does kind of worry me. I haven't seen the moon rise, but... I mean... We are... Most of the way there. Oh, and we're doing great for electric charge. Wait, two meters a second. We gotta check our orbital map, and haha, we actually got ourselves an encounter. What did I say? And actually, go back to our staging. Yeah, okay, so it was actually hidden behind the sun. Okay. Well, I'm going to cut until we get in an encounter. So, uh, well, I guess I'll, uh, see when we get that. And welcome back. Uh, we have our encounter, and, and eclipse. Oh, I love this game sometimes. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, most of the time. Uh, what we're essentially going to do is cancel out what little horizontal velocity we have here. I have to hold that. What's our resources look like? Okay. A very low amount actually being used. But what I'm going to do is I'm fast forwarding till we get closer. And I, it sucks that we're landing on the dark side of the moon. Well, it's not dark, considering it actually faces Kerbin, but... Yeah. You know what? Yeah. So what? Let's see if... See if I can. Mm. I want you to get on EVA. Okay, good. Take the data and look to board. Temperature scan can't be done right now. Well, that sucks. Can I do a career report though? Eh, it doesn't, doesn't give me anything. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and fast forward a little bit more. And the only reason why I'm making all, uh, or have, putting, keeping this in here is because I don't want to screw it up and have to re-record this. So, yeah. <laughs> and we get to watch it cross over. 
at about 500, I'm going to start the first of a few suicide burns. And right now. going to go ahead and actually turn the lights on. Good. And I may as well put the gear down. And they all went good. I'm going to fast forward again and at about 250 I'm going to do another burn. To reduce velocity. I'm going to go ahead and cut that there since we slowed down significantly. At a hundred, I'm going to do another. This time I'm not going to fast forward as much at 50,000. I'm going to do another burn. And we'll go ahead and do that. And yes, I know the engines are loud. I'm going to stop it at about 250-ish. Fast forward again at about 30,000. I'm going to start one, I'm going to do another burn until about 200 meters per second. And then at 10,000, I'm actually going to completely come to a stop. Or er, at 15,000, I'm going to stop time warping completely. Bring this down to about 175 or 160 ish. About that's good. Now all I have to do is kill vertical velocity, essentially. I'm pretty proud of the way this is working. Uh, this... wow. Uh, let's go ahead and do a crew report. Well, that's good. Keep the data. Not a lot, enough electric charge. Bull crap! They've got plenty of electric charge. Well, I'm going to begin a pretty tough burn here. Um, I'm going to stop at about maybe.
dancing around flying by the nav ball. Of course. I know this wouldn't work in real life. I know this totally would not work in real life. What the hell? What just broke? second and welcome back I just uh, loaded a quick save uh, I'll go ahead and resume the flight um. I'm just doing this so that we uh, Killer Kerbal Knot. Uh, yeah. Um, that was weird. It really was. What's our... Yeah, we've got plenty of electric charge. Fast forward until about maybe... 30,000. I'm going to go below 200 meters per second. Um, pretty much just standard descent stuff. I do have the lights on, don't yeah. Okay. Man, this is this is when you want the moon to have an atmosphere. <laughs> well I said I'd go below two hundred, so May as well hold up to that. And for right. Can you actually believe it's the first time this episode that I've actually had to say that? Um, I'm gonna go at about fifteen thousand meters. extremely weird I 
I mean, it looked entirely flat going down. So I go fast forward until about maybe 5,000 meters. And guys, trust me, like I said, this has plenty of fuel to get back. I still think that was... Ex I, I did not understand that. I'm just hoping I don't wind up. Uh, crashing into the surface in that extremely weird... But uh, I'll leave it in there, but extremely hilarious fashion. Uh, I did not understand that. Frame rate. <laughs> I'm looking down, looking for my lights. This isn't the Midlands, because that would suck. That may have been what I had landed on. Oops. Golly. I'm essentially flying blind here. <laughs> Trying to keep my velocity down below 20. And really, I'd like to keep it below 15. I'd love to know my radar altitude, but. I'm not going to risk an IVA. While I do this. That would be nice. Thank you. 
just being very, very careful. We landed safely this time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my golly gracious. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we're going to go ahead and do it EVA. Actually. Okay. Uh, lights. Haha. <laughs> oh, so much better now that I can see. And now we're going to walk a little bit away from the lander before uh, I stick the flag in. Because on the Apollo 11 mission, um, the lander, the exhaust fumes, when they were uh, departing the moon, uh, knock down the flag uh, as they're leaving. That's a sufficient way. Let's plant our flag. Oh. Oh, well. Site name Athena 18 Landing Site. Text. And bouncing around. And safely. God, is it beautiful? Up. Out. Major Tom. Major. And I'm not going to use the EVA jetpack too much. What's that? I seriously wonder what that is over there. That may be debris. I don't... No, it couldn't be. Let's do an EVA report. Ooh, from Munn's Northwest Crater. And we'll take a surface sample. <sighs> Beautiful science. Basaltic rocks and Brescia. Whatever. See, it's so much better when you can actually see your spacecraft. <laughs> and about here. Oops. Oh, no, 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 ah, fuck. Yep, 
Sorry about the language there. R. Man. God, this is actually tough. Oh, that's why I didn't put a ladder on the decoupler. Now I can board. temperature data collect a little bit more science and now I'm going to actually go to orbital map wow. yeah apparently we came down in a fairly rocky outpost but if I turned this direction, when I lift off, I'll be going retrograde to the Mun. And I should be able to... Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's just go with that. F. I sure hope I have enough Delta V to do this. I swear I was burning the correct direction too. I'm going to go ahead and just split this about halfway, about 15 seconds out. Yeah, I, I should have enough fuel. So I'm going to stop about maybe at 30 seconds, uh, stop the time warp, and then I'll 
yeah. Okay, so about actually I'll go go ahead and burn now. I have no idea how that happened because I should have been burning the correct direction. Okay. I'm just fast forwarding till get into an orbit. around Kerbin. I guess I don't actually need the SAS, but whatever. Man, this feels so slow for some reason. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I've got plenty of fuel. I need to just get far enough away from the moon's gravity well. Honestly, I think that's going to have to wait until I get to my curve and Perry apps, and I'm going to drop the Apple apps, and then I'm going to try... I may just do a straight, complete drop. Yeah, <laughs> this was weird, to be honest. Yeah. I'll go straight to my periaps. And just drop the Apple apps. See what's this? Drop it to is if it as long as it hits the atmosphere, I'm fine. <laughs> Cause that means I'm tech I'm arrow breaking just enough each and every time, like Okay. There. I'm going to stop there. And I'm going to go to this. And I am going to be extremely careful using the time acceleration. And I am 
not going to do anything more than this. And actually, back here, I'm going to stop doing that fast. Slow it down to here. And at about here, I'm not under acceleration. I'm going to go here. And trust me, I've, as you probably saw in my probing episode, uh, not that kind of probing. See, we're coming in extremely fast. And I actually need to flip around. I'm going to kill off as much velocity as possible. I just want to kill it until about, I don't know, standard orbital velocity. Maybe, well, I can kill it till, uh, uh, maybe 1800, it really, it's however much this lot, it lets me. <laughs> Cut out here. You all know this is going to be a successful mission, so till next.